We're Daryl and Carmen, and we're tackling the southwest coast path unrushed. As autumn draws in, we're back in North Cornwall heading for Padstow. Knowing this next leg is one of the toughest, we had already completed the few miles from Tintagel to Treknow on our last hike. And with the drive down behind us, we'd stretch our legs for an hour walking from Treknow to Trebarwith Strand where we'd spend the night up the valley before striking out for Port Isaac in the morning. This gave us a nicely manageable leg. After two initial climbs, the path flattens out along the cliff tops but then you reach a series of four valleys that are very reminiscent of the Heartland to Bude leg. Then it's a short distance to Port Govern and our final destination of Port Isaac where we'd catch the 96 bus back to our base for the week in Wadebridge. Just under eight miles that took us four and a half hours. I hope you enjoy this video. It's deep. Wow. Oh, it's a it's a quarry, isn't it? Wow. So here we are, back on the coast path. Sunday, 8th of October. It's four o'clock, we've just driven down at very short notice, there's a couple of good days weather and uh, it's absolutely beautiful. So just doing a short walk down to Trebarwith Strand. <sighs> I think we must be staying up over there somewhere. We go then. Yep. Leaving the mill house in, which I think we can, if we're being kind, we could call it a rustic walker's pub. I think that's being kind. Good breakfast though. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, seven miles ahead. Lots of ups and downs. an aggressive start uh, but I gather it's gonna get quite a bit tougher especially the second half of this so today we're just going from Trebarwith to Port Isaac um, seven miles it's like just under a thousand meters of up and down um, but I think there's four of them that come in very quick succession up down up down up down so we'll see how we get on. We haven't done a lot of walking recently, so I think this is gonna to be tough. Five miles to go. Whew. So we've been going about 90 minutes from Trebarwith Strand. First climb's quite a tough one, lots of steps. Uh, and then it's down 
and up and that's not too bad it's on a zigzag so it's fairly steady going and then you've got a nice walk for 30 40 minutes and then another small up and down unfortunately i don't think these are the four nasty ones that we've got coming but you know we're making reasonable progress uh, it's a beautiful morning it's misty so it's still a little bit cool um, but the sun is it's so hot already and this is middle of october it's crazy that's a long way down okay let's see how we do it's really funny along here you just get covered in spiders webs they're all just stringing off of the edge of the fence your face is continually covered in it Ugh. Coming up to three hours done. Oh, got just over three hours to, to go. I think we've got two more climbs, one more downhill, and then there's a slow ramble into Port Isaac. So a good time, 10 to 12, so just coming up to three hours. I think this is the highest point. As you make your approach from the headland into Port Gavern, the path splits. If it's high tide, be sure to take the left-hand path. We didn't, and we were very lucky that the tide was low enough to traverse the beach rather than make a hasty retreat. You've been warned. Just make sure I've got the camera for when you fall in. We'd wrap this day up in Port Isaac and be back again to see the village the following day. It's a beautiful walk if a bit of a knee trembler. Next time we encounter plenty of day walkers, wave goodbye to Tintagel from the Rumps and walk on the infamous Doom Bar before reaching Padstow. To join us for more of the Coast Path just like and subscribe, it's totally free. Thank you for watching this far.